Hi, I'm Mariko Takahashi. Can you guess who this is? Yes, it's me. You can't believe it, huh? Thanks. But what I want to say here is hope that anyone could do it. But the point is not only to lose weight. That's likely to fail. The important thing is for you to become strong. If you can build the upper body strength, you can lift things much easier. Beautiful arms showing from your summer dress is not a dream. That's what you want, right? Three days a week or every other day, we'll be building muscular strength. That's what this video is about. Beauty and strength, this is connected to everything in life. Connected to victory and happiness. Victory and happiness is the most important thing for everyone. Okay, let's go. Pump the arms like you're in the mud. Shoulders down, chest open. Tighten your stomach. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Always slow and strong. Four more coming. Four, breathe it out. And three, think it up. It's two, tighter. Now step aside, outside right here, no arms. With arms. Resistance on the up. Good job, guys. We're doing the strength training now. Let's sit down. We're going to start from the military press. Hold your hands up in gong poi position. Now let's go. It's up. Squeeze in the top and down again. It's up. Squeeze in the top and down again, again. It's up. Squeeze in the top. Deep breath out again. Open your legs. It's up. Squeeze and down again. It's up. Squeeze. Last one. Down. Ready for action. Hold it up. Squeeze it up. Now get it up. Take it up. Squeeze the top and press. Don't touch it down. Don't bag it down. Slow and gently put it up. Come look at this. She's squeezing it down. She's bringing it up and she's bringing it down. Nice control. Nice control. And up. Shoulders down. And up. That's it. We're training the thighs now. And up. Press down. Lift it up. Last one. That's it. Face your front. Up, 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 up. Slow and strong. Down. Up, 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 up. Slow and strong. And down. Thank you for joining. Be well. Live from Club Chris, it's Kid Chris. Tonight's guest is you, America. Call in at 513-813-7979. Now here's Kid Chris. Up in it, man. Here we are. Thursday night. <laughs> man, I watched the uh, chat room thing, you know, during that whole video there. I don't know how the fuck that chick did that with the dog heads on those those people. It must have been like little kids holding the dogs or something, right? I mean, how'd they do that? Because say someone's in those, I guess those suits, and they would have the the dog on their uh, their shoulders, I guess, because they're holding on to the seats. I don't know. That's a yeah. That is some weird shit. You're right. But I'll tell you what. Uh, that's the stuff that I. <laughs> That when I go to flea markets and shit, I buy that stuff. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I mean, oh, maybe I don't. Uh, maybe I don't have it here. Oh yeah, I do. One of the best purchases ever is uh, the O.J. Simpson VHS. This is uh, the shit I buy. This, and if I'm at a flea market and I see. Uh, like uh, VCR tapes that have no labels on those. 
those are what you buy too because it either has home video shit on there which is funny or it's got uh you know tv shows that were recorded and you'll get like uh local awful commercials from like the 80s and the 90s oh yeah all that good shit i collect that stuff oh, that, guy, that guy hung up anyways so you uh see the phone number it's all down here and shit the social media and all that now you know the rule tonight is uh thursday and that means live from Club Chris. That's what we're doing. I've already had, this is two and a half. This is the end of my vodka bottle, by the way. Um, so, like, well, my wife's been sick. So I came home early today and uh, helped her out. So if the calls stop, I stop tonight. And it's not a big deal if I go upstairs and all that because, uh, you know, my wife's ill and she was throwing up all day today. Anyhow, go ahead, Philadelphia. Yo. I guess uh, nobody wants to talk today. What's up? Come on, man. Yo, hey, oh, it's Dave. What's good, Philly? Wanted to ask you right off the top. Oh, Dave, the you... white guy. Yes. What do you the, call it? Proud... I, I, I thought I had your name uh, or your phone number labeled. The phone was. No, no, it is. The phone. Usually before, the phone would ring. You would pick up and go right to it. The phone then all of a sudden went dead quiet. And I'm like. Is there a connection issue, or I don't no. know what the hell is going on? That's weird, because so, during, during the show today, we had a weird thing where people were calling, and I would see right. the list, and the people called, but the phone never rang. That's weird. I don't know. What's up? Here's the question, because you're around my age in terms of music, and same with me. The question that I ask, because it just came out today, are you seeing Genesis in Columbus in December? Oh, I didn't know that. Are they coming to Columbus? Yeah. They're coming to Columbus December 8th. Wow. They're doing a 20-city tour like mm. fall winter well if they're only doing 20 cities that means columbus is probably close to sold out already no the tickets haven't gone sale yet well it's gonna be industry people that go yeah but don't you have pulled it you could say hey man can you swing me a couple tickets to there so i want to see them you know what? i don't use any stroke ever <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, but this is the time. This is going to be their last tour, so you figure I know. if you're going to use a, if you're going to stroke, and I use that term loosely, yeah. you, you get hold of Dubs and just go look. You know, I you know just kind of say like, look, man, they're, they're going to be playing. You know, they're playing the hits, so it's like you know what's there. Well, you know, the thing is though with Genesis, is it going to be a? I don't want to say the original lineup because remember the original lineup had uh, 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 Peter Gabriel, but is this with Phil? Gary announced it. It's Phil, yeah. Michael, Tony. Okay. Phil's kids playing drums. Oh. Because well, Phil. Phil's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Phil's fucked up with his arms, and then they got a fifth guy. I guess I don't know if he played. I don't know what he's playing, but there's a, a fifth member. So there's yeah. five members in it. Dude, I would go to that in a second. Well, then go. I'm just saying, yeah, you want to go? Like, man, you don't go to see. You don't go to the, the Hampton to see Stern. You don't <laughs> do anything else. This is a time where you, you got to jump on this. You meet Dubs like road trip. It's a Wednesday night. You could take off the next day or even two days and make a long weekend out of it. You know, I don't know if uh, if Dubs would go see something like that. I don't know. Uh, I have no problem going with that by myself. The problem, or not, not a problem, but I know some uh, radio people in Columbus that will probably end up going, so maybe I'll go hang with them. But uh, that's definitely something that I would go check out for show. Sure. Right. T take Lene. Make it a date night. She's not going to want to go see Genesis. <laughs> Anything. But, yeah, I just saw it today because I'm already was talking with my one friend. I think I have in Philly, and I just, they were just like, eh. No, this is just the beginning. They didn't even announce, like, West Coast or anything else. Like, they're starting here on like, the northeast and a little bit maybe, I think, south. I think I saw so. But I thought I saw Columbus, and I went, like, I wonder if Chris would go. Well, so you want to jump on it. There's a guy in the chat room saying it's 300 bucks a pop for tickets. But, you know, again. Uh, I can believe it. I can believe somebody at high because, you know, Phil needs the money. No, I know. He's had like 30 divorces. And the one chick, <laughs> he had to sue just to get her to leave his fucking house. Yeah. She was gross. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I, I know he probably has some publishing money and whatever else. But, yeah, I think all three divorces, he got cleaned out of all three times. And so, yeah. yeah it's, so. That sucks. But, <laughs> yeah. But, but at least you got something now to do in December. You're always looking at concerts and stuff. So, yeah. I don't there know what it's, what it's like up there in Philly, but, um, yeah, they're getting ready. Like, it seems like in July and all the way through, they're like, fuck it, we're opening the fuck up. Well, the one rumor that I heard was that, which I think has already been confirmed, well, not confirmed, but I guess with dates is Chris Stapleton's playing Camden in July. Oh, uh, the uh, 
the rock country guy, whatever. Yeah. You don't know what he is. He's a he's a guy that I'm not going to go see. That's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think machine. I think most of them are September. Like Machine Gun Kelly's coming out, but mm. I think he's like in your neck of the woods more than here. So yeah, he's. From, I mean, he, they're, he, they're all he, doing it. Yeah, he's from Cleveland. I don't know if. Um, yeah, I tried with the, him. You know, I gave it a shot. Machine Gun Kelly, not my speed, but from what I understand, he's been to the radio station. He's super cool. So props to him for that. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I don't know if I'll go see him. Um, right. You're yeah. more of Genesis and singing Invisible Touch and everything else with a Bach in your hand. Yeah. Oh fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I'm glad you nice. told me, man, because uh, you know. Yeah, I wait, wait, and you tell me. I think said that's meets, that's meets music, that's Sags music. I mean, Brian Combs. It might be a road trip from EBN and LW all yeah. heading to Columbus. You're right. Like I just uh, let's say, oh, it's something else. Yeah, uh, you know, Meat just texted me. I, I, maybe he was uh, just hearing about it, but it was about something else. But anyways, yeah. Well, okay. Well, I'll talk about it on tomorrow's show probably. That's uh, I'm all excited right, brother. For that. All right, man. Thanks okay. for the hookup. Good. All right. Anytime, sir. Bye. All right, bye. That's Dave, the white guy. From Philly, he's on Twitter a lot. He uh, is always uh, dropping science up on uh, on the Twitter account with shit going on, especially with sports. Tonight at eight o'clock tonight is when the draft starts. That's like fucking sports guy porno. <laughs> I don't watch that bullshit. Like where I live, it doesn't matter. I live in Cincinnati, and no matter what they do, whatever whoever they pick. It's going to end up getting hurt the first four games. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody important gets hurt, and then they sit out. And once they get hurt, everybody goes, that's it. It's over. It's so crazy. It's like some kind of uh, weird, like, bad luck. Maybe I'll get one of those uh, voodoo uh, guys to come in and, and raise or lift the uh, the curse on the city. Go ahead. Uh, hey, you know, uh, Kid Chris, I talked to you over the last couple of weeks. It's Joe from North Jersey. Um, you know, I, I didn't realize that Zimmerman is from my hometown. Zimmerman from the Wolf Pack. Yeah. From Rawway. Okay. Yeah. He, uh, I don't know the dude, but he, uh, he knows pretty much everybody I know. Uh, well, apparently that really doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I love Zimmerman. The funny thing about Zimmerman is he's got uh, I don't know if I could say where he works. Do you listen to No, he don't no. Okay, so I shouldn't say where he works. But uh the funny thing with him is he's Mr. Know it all, and then when I ask him a question about something that he supposedly works at, he's like, Yeah, I don't know. I know more than he does. And then the other thing is he's Mr. Fucking Wolf Pack and shit. But if you watch any of the videos of us doing Wolfpack and all that stuff, he's just hitting redial on the phone. That motherfucker never gets on, ever. <laughs> if, actually, would you answer his, your call? I mean, would you answer his call if you really knew who it was? Probably not. No. I mean, the dude, look, <laughs> I'm, I'm a short dude, okay? But he's tiny. But he, like, if he, he's taller when he lays down. Because he's <laughs> he's big and fat, so when he lays down, he's he's you know. But well, you're what's the dude? What's the dude from uh, Delaware? Uh, Jimmy Jitsu. Jimmy Jitsu. He rules. was hanging out with him that time, and they're in a hotel room, and he said he's got a dick the size of a needle. Yeah, well, it's true yeah. because uh, <laughs> a couple of years ago in Atlanta, he uh, allegedly uh, purchased a couple ladies. Uh, and they said he was fun sized in his pants. You sure it wasn't ladies with a bonus package? Oh, I don't know if it was or not, but I know he. They said his package was fun sized. I'd be upset. <laughs> oh my god! All right, I don't want to bother you anymore. I'm, I'm halfway drunk, so. All right, I'll brother. <laughs> talk to you. Later. See ya. So long for now. He goes, talk to you later. Oh, man, that's a lot of calls. That's good, though, because the rule is the call stop, I stop. Hey, what's up? 804 area code. That's a first, I think. Hello, Derek. Oh, 
I know who the fuck it is. It's Jim the regular. Hey, just want to just want to make a, a, an, a, an announcement. There was a bank robbery in Colorado Springs two days ago. But for the past week, I've been in Vegas, so it was not me. It wasn't you. Okay. <laughs> it was not me. So no matter where you okay. move to, Jim, bank robberies follow. <laughs> they, it, it's unbelievable. I mean, come on. Fucking hey. Colorado Springs? Jesus. Hey, dude, uh, so you went to Vegas. What was it like there? Was, is everybody afraid? Look, I know friends. I have friends in New York City. New York City's dead. What's Vegas? I'm here right now. Oh. No. Uh, next week, they're going to be 80% open, and by the end of June, 100% open. The acts are coming back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, ju- they're just saying, F it. Yeah. Arizona, they just, you know, <laughs> fuck this thing. Well, you know, everybody, take off your mask. Let's go. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, like I said on the show today, uh, at some point, it's going to be, you know, lo- no lifeguard on duty. It's fucking, you're, at, you're on your own. You know, because oh yeah, because there's no excuse. This vaccine thing is everywhere. I mean, you could get a you could get a, a, a baseball ticket and a free vaccine if you wanted to. At this point, they're just throwing it out, and uh, so it's up to you. So if you go end up in a hospital and you die, it's your own fucking fault. It's not like you could go. I didn't know. It's bullshit. Listen, I just ran into a guy. I met a guy from Slovenia. He came over to the U.S. Got shot in Boston. He's going back next week to get his second shot. Yeah. He came over from Europe. He said, no, we're not waiting. Yeah. We're just coming. Done. Yeah. So, yeah, no, this, this place is, uh, is, uh, is pretty wide open right now. And well, you know, a lot of the people. Well, you remember Monkey Boy, right? Sure. He was on my show in Philadelphia. He, he lives in New York City now. And uh, he says it's dead. And just all crime everywhere. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, you're, they screwed that place up so bad. I mean, it's unbelievable. And all the cops, they're calling in saying, no, I'm not coming in. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, they've you, had it. You know what? Uh, so, Jim, are, who are you in Vegas with? Just me. Be just honest. me. I'm just. Be no, honest. I am. I'm, no, no, no. I'm saying. But, I came, but would do, have you ordered a friend to come to the room? No. Why? No. Be, why? Well, it's one of those things right now that uh, you know what's going on out here. A lot of people getting ripped off by them. So what? <laughs> Jim, how many times have you, have you, how many times have you been divorced? You went the, the the legal way and been ripped off. So why not go the illegal <laughs> way? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think I'll go hit the ATM. Mm. I'll do that tonight. You can, you can always count on me to make a great point. <laughs> you know, I, Chris, that's why I still listen to you. You yeah, know, you right. always have that that little nugget of wisdom. That's right. You got to look at it a different way, and I'm the only guy that looks at it the right way. Man. <laughs> On that note, why am I wasting time talking to you? I'll catch you later. Good luck out there. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to need it. <laughs> Later. Hey, who's, who's, yeah, come on. <laughs> so long for now. <laughs> uh, he's the best. I miss that fucker. He went to jail for a while. He robbed two banks. I think one was in Delaware and then on the way home. What did he say when he talked to us? It's on one of the podcasts. He came on and said, he robbed the bank in Delaware, and it went behind a building, and then the shit blew up, and the ink got all over the place. And so then he went to another bank in Philly, and it robbed it, and then went home in Jersey. And then they put his picture on the, the news, and he got caught. He went to jail for a while. That was some scary shit. Then Blake went to jail. After we left Philadelphia, everybody went to a life of crime. Uh, uh, you can call 513-813-7979. The phone is uh, here for you. The phone call stop, I stop. It's that simple. A little uh, present for you. 
She's got she's got the Dr. Dave Cupid doll. Oh gosh. All right, eight four seven nine three one fourteen ten. This is the radio shopping show, and uh, where we have the uh, the finest the finest guests and the finest uh, the finest savings here on radio shopping show. And let's go. Actually, we have time to go to a shopper real quick, and let's go to you, caller. Can I get your key tag number, please? Hello, good doctor. Good. How are you? Hi, good. I was wondering if you could check my dick for bumps. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 847 931 Let's go take a break. This is the Radio Shopping Show on WRMN 1410. We'll be right back. That's, you know how old that is? That is old school. Big puffy highlights. That shit was frosted as fuck. I'm cursing on the radio. That was, uh, let's see, that was San Antonio. That was when... We moved from Philadelphia back to San Antonio. It was right before we did the uh, uh, that that uh, podcast live show from uh, Sweet One, uh, Sweet One Hundred One, I think it was called. Anyhow, so yeah, that's old school. That's two thousand eight. I don't even think it was two thousand nine yet. But yeah, that was living in uh, uh, Alamo Heights, San Antonio area. God, I love that place, too. That was before kids. I don't even think I had uh, dumped a load yet to uh, make kids. So, anyways, who was sleeping in the background? I don't know who that was. I don't know what that chat comment is. Uh, so, yeah, here's the deal. You see all the uh, phone number info and everything down there on the bottom, all right? When the phone calls stop, I stop. Pretty light on the phones right now. I'm okay with bailing out of here. I'd rather go upstairs, finish my drink. And hang out with my uh, my sick wife in my chair, my magical chair. Hi, Dave. It's Rick. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, about the unemployment, man. I have been uh, dealing with this for a while now since the pandemic. It's a really, really hard to deal with. i got a family and stuff, and um, I'm uh, back in the back alley taking care of guys. You know. Trying okay, to- that's it. Thanks. I, I hope you, I hope you uh, took care of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love how these guys fucking flip out. Okay, okay, man. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough of this shit. Uh, 513-813-7979. That gets you uh, on the radio here, bitch. I'm going to give it, let's see. It's uh, 722 in the p.m. right now. Uh, thumbs now. I have beer in the fridge, but I'm not a beer guy, really. I mean, I'll be, I'll drink a beer when I'm out at a concert or something because, you know, when you're sweating and all that shit, you know, at the vodka, I don't know. But uh, I got beer here, but I'm more of a vodka guy. I like vodka. Oh, an unknown caller. Jeez, I wonder where this is going. Oh, sorry. I, I, I turn that on sometimes, and I forget I leave it on. Um, do you still have, like, really large balls? Yes. What part of Philadelphia are you from? <laughs> I'm actually from Jersey. I live in Philly, though. Uh huh. Um, yeah, but I, I can't I show them out like, here. I, I would. Yeah, I used to want to see the Peter Cottontail, but you never show me. I can't do that on here. Peter Cottontail is okay. when I push my balls to the back. <laughs> it looks like I have a, I was, a well, like a like a a, a bunny rabbit tail. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought it'd be funny, like you know how like. Um, Radio stations would have, like, those 8 by 10s that jocks could autograph. Yeah. I always thought it would be funny if your your 8 by 10 was, like, you doing Peter Cottontail and, you know, he'd autograph it. That would be funny, but I don't think our radio stations do that shit anymore. That's, like, the 60s. Really? I, I don't know. I, 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 the I reason I kinda... asked about your... I get uncomfortable when somebody asks me to sign something just because it's like, well, I'm just a red, I'm just a, a douche that happens to have a. I mean, I'll be honest, I have a cool job, but I'm just some douche. Nothing to get excited about. Most of the most, yeah, but people, if it, most people that call in like yourself are pr- probably funnier and could do a better job. It just happens that I went for the job and I got it. <laughs> <laughs> to be yeah, honest. but you don't think somebody would want a picture of you doing the Peter Cottontail and oh, autograph? Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, let's be honest. Uh, if, if any guy was on the street, if you're at a concert and a guy is in the fu- on the fucking lawn doing a Peter Cottontail, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, I need a picture of that. So it doesn't matter if it's me or not. 
<laughs> I, the reason <laughs> the reason I asked about your balls, like I thought you you were taking some medication or something. You, you had low T or something, and, and they shrunk. Oh, uh, when I was doing that, they did. Yes. Uh, okay. I I, I, I yeah, you know what? Stopped. It's a good. It's a good point, though. I don't know if they're as big as they were. I don't know. I don't keep track. All I know is my antidepressants uh, keep my dick dead. <laughs> uh, sucks. Yeah. You could uh, you could measure your balls. You know how like when you're uh, you're measuring your kid's growth, like you put the pencil line against the wall. Yeah, in the playroom. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can get, like, tattoos on the inside of your thighs yeah, for how good... low your balls are. Well, I'll tell you, in, 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 the August when, in August when it gets uh, really hot out, if when I'm jumping mm. in the brand-new 2021 Jeep Wrangler from Zimmer Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, when I'm jumping into that thing to get into my chair, into my seat, <laughs> if my balls drag across, then they're still big. <laughs> Hey, hey, did you get a, a Jeep Wrangler? Because uh, the working man, the working man has one. Pour one for the working man. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I had, that, I had that truck over the, uh, the winter time, uh, the Ram, and I liked that thing. But then uh, the nice weather was coming. I was talking about that. And then Derek at the, uh, uh, at the, the dealership there, Zimmer Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, got me into the uh, 2021 uh you know the the Jeep Wrangler, and I like that thing. It's cool. It'll be nice when the weather gets really good. I can take my girls down to get ice cream and stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah, sounds good. You know, maybe maybe uh, have the balls hanging out. Get some get some hair. Well, maybe I'll get those ones that you put on the trailer hitch. You ever see those? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just get those and have them hanging out of my pants at all times. <laughs> Like, uh, didn't uh, Johnny Knoxville do that in that uh, Bad Grandpa movie? He had, like, really long nuts or something. Oh, yeah, when he dressed up like an old man, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, Really long. Yeah. Testicles. I miss I miss those guys. They're supposed to have a new shit, some new shit coming out. Yeah, but they um they kicked Bam out or I something. Know. Well, that's Sucks. tough. That's tough love because the guy's got issues, man. It's weird. Yeah. You know, I... I there's like a connection to him because of the whole Philadelphia thing. You know, he was big out there, and he was always cool to our show. I kind of feel bad for that guy. I feel bad for him as well. No. Um, I mean, I've been watching him since the show was on MTV in the year 2000. Like, well, if you, want, if you want real good, good shit, uh, the CKY stuff on DVD is really fucking good. Those guys used to do that shit before, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, before uh, Jackass and all that stuff, they were doing it, and then you know Johnny Knoxville was in uh, Big Brother magazine doing shit. So they kind of combined and made Jackass, or whatever. But all that stuff beforehand was really fucking good. Oh yeah, I, I have all those DVDs. Yeah, yeah, those there's, are good. There's like four of them, I think. Yeah, yeah, those are really really good. Those might be better uh, if you go back now and watch those in the Jackass movies. But there's nothing better when the Jackass movies came out. And I knew this. You got to go to the theater to see those movies with a bunch of fucking yeah. strangers. You got to go. Yeah. Oh, dude. I fucking die laughing at some of those fucking skits. Yeah. Yeah, that was the good stuff. So I'm looking forward to this shit coming out. Yeah, me too. Hopefully it, it uh, comes to fruition, you know. Yeah. Well, I, it, hey, you know what? Breaking news. Uh, I'm done talking to you. All right, so long for now. <laughs> so long for now. <laughs> Cut that bitch off. I did, I did. Next caller. Well, 513-813-7979. Phone call stop. I stop. Hmm. I know I've been drinking pretty good because I got uh, the cotton mouth right now. Mm-mm. Vodka does that shit. I came on earlier this week, uh, I think it was on Tuesday night, and I was fucking around and playing video games, taking calls and shit, and then uh, my ex-girlfriend from Wichita said, oh, I'm going to call in on Thursday night and uh, and talk to you. And I haven't talked to her since uh, her ass left me in Sacramento, but I guess she's not going to call in. That would be fun to have her on. I know Blake from Sales said he wanted to interview her. <laughs> 
but she may not uh, make it tonight because, you know, the calls are dying up. Uh, so, like I said, uh, when that shit stops, I stop. 770. Right. What is that? Atlanta, right? Yeah. Atlanta, yeah, yeah. Yep. What's up? I was uh, here to get Philly cars to you in Atlanta. What, what are you saying? <laughs> um, calling from Atlanta. I've been with you for 10 years. First time calling. Yeah, your phone's fucking up. Ah, shit. <laughs> Cut that bitch off! So long for now. Man, that was a three banger right there. He got the uh he got the cut that bitch off, the so long for now, and then the boom. Gimme the boom. Uh you see the number five one three eight one three seven nine seven nine. That gets you on here. Good morning, caller. You're on Tradio. Good morning. Uh, I got a KCS Services. Uh, we do window cleaning. All right. No. Bi- do- sorry, sir. No businesses on Tradio. I'm sorry. This is a private. Private. Well, I do it privately, and I, I'll do it uh, bare ass if you want me to. <laughs> All right, man. Five eight zero two two five nine six nine seven. Let's see. Good morning, caller. You're on Tradio. Yes. Hi. Um. I'm actually selling some land. It's a small piece of land out back. Uh, I need some plowing, and I wonder if you would like to come over and plow on my backside. 580-225-9697. No. On the phone. Yeah, Blake. What's up, Mama? How you doing, sweetness? Dude, our, our little temptress isn't going to call tonight? I guess not. Keep in mind, she's married, so. Jeez, man. I don't care about that. I, I care if she has HPV. She may. <laughs> <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> no, who, Listen, uh, who, who are you telling? Who are you telling you're on the phone? I heard you go, I'm on the phone, and you shut the door. Oh, uh, that's my dad. Oh, oh, I thought you were yelling at a girl. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Uh, nah, 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 nah. That goes like this. Yeah, nah, nah. I go, <laughs> I'm on the phone. <laughs> that goes, get out of here. <laughs> Yo, you know what I was talking about with somebody the other day? Remember the, the, the old days when, when, um, when, like, when you had an actual house phone and you had to call people and then, like, your mom would pick up the phone and you'd be like, Wait, and you and you you're on the other you pick up the other phone in the other room and you're like, I got it! Hang yeah. up! Yeah. And you're like, you know, like those days are over. I know. Like, I know. I was just thinking about all that stuff that I know. Radio was. They'll, they'll never get I remember being on the phone laying there talking to a friend or a girl or something, and my mom would pick up and hit redial because her friend's phone was busy. And I'd be on the phone, yeah, so anyways, uh, you know, what what's your favorite class? And then she'd pick up and I'd hear and I'd be like, Ma, Ma, I'm on the phone. I, I'm sorry. Like, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Or like, the best was calling your friend's house and be like, yeah, is Mike there? And, and they go, yeah, hang on a minute. Mike! Yeah. Mom! <laughs> that was my dad. My dad was so annoyed. He'd get up off the couch and answer the phone. Now, my dad didn't allow me to yeah. have a, he didn't want me to have a phone in my room and all that stuff. So I would hear the phone ring and I would just sit there because no one's calling my dad or my mom. Who is calling them? So, you know, we're all in the house. So if the phone's ringing, it's for us. If we're not home and the phone rings, it could be a tragedy. You never know. But we're home. So who the fuck is calling him? So I'm sitting at home and I hear the phone ring and I would just sit there. And listen to it ring and ring and ring just to wait for him to pick up and go, hello? And they go, hold on. Phone! <laughs> <laughs> All pissed off. And I would say, you wouldn't have to worry about that if you allow me to have a phone in my room. You're not getting a phone in your room. You'd be in it all the time. You know, it's like, yeah, I'd be on it all the time and you wouldn't hear it ring. Right. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like kids these days, they don't have to go through any of this shit. Not and I was driving. You know, 
I was driving down the road the other day and I saw like these kids were having like a, like a, a little kid birthday party. I'm like, I saw them out on the front yard. I'm like, you never see that anymore. Kids mm-hmm. never are outside ever anymore. Ever. I, li- I live in a neighborhood like, where, where it's all like young parents and there's kids, you know, they all have young kids and stuff and they're all inside. My kids, uh, they play outside, but they go, I live in a cul-de-sac, so they play the cul-de-sac or on the play set out back, or they talk to, they, they play games on their phones and they're all together on the phone playing. That's, it used to be where everybody would come over and we'd play video games and pass the, uh, you know, the joystick. Oh, it's player two's time. And then they would take it and then play and all that shit. Now it's just, uh, you know, online. Yeah, there used to be houses in neighborhoods where you could just, like, you had a friend. You're like, let me just walk in the door and see what's in their fridge. My house was like that. My uh, my friend Tony and Darren and Joe had the open-door policy at the house. So I would – I would co- or, and Scooter, too, when I got older. He was the one that would drive and we'd go and get drunk. But I would be uh, – uh, upstairs, I'd come down thinking, where the fuck is Tony? He said he was coming over. And I'd come down, and he'd be on the couch talking with my dad. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's just not like that anymore. No. I, I, was, I, was, I was, you know, it's crazy how things have changed, and I think that's taken it the hardest. But um, so t- tell me a little bit so I can pre-prepare for my interview about the, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the sensual relationship that you had with this young vixen who oh this Brett, harlot that was or, gonna or, call uh, on the phone yeah she's not a harlot shonda from wichita oh yeah was she she was featured in the kid chris uh home videos yes that's right the one i played on here yes when we when yeah we, okay when we got the dog and stuff yeah and, and you uh that apartment or whatever that was i mean it was just pure white trash that yeah, whole it, deal man it was a shack um yeah i played i paid 349 a month i think for it something like that it was and on, she she it, just went she just went along for the ride huh yeah she moved with me to uh, sacramento so what are girls from wichita like like what was that whole scene like are they kind of like you know I don't. I, mean, I, I, I a, don't. I don't think I ever saw an unattractive girl from Kansas, from Wichita, when I lived there. Really? Every girl was hot. That's that. Yup, it's that corn-fed thing. Something in that. It's corn. I don't know what, don't it, know is, what it is. But, but <laughs> the problem is, is you know, you know, I went on a rock station up there, T ninety five, which I loved, and then when I got there, you know, they're like, well, "Who are you? Where are you from?" I said, "Well, you know, I'm from upstate New York." And they just think New York City, but they don't understand that, you know, upstate New York is more white trash than, you know, and awful than Kansas. But they just think big city. So they think that's a big deal. Right. Yeah. Like the city in Kansas is less trashy than the smallest city in New York. That makes total sense. Yeah. But I'll tell you, the road I lived on, it was on Flora Avenue in Wichita, Kansas. I have put put up online a Google Earth screenshot of the shack I lived in. And the guy that owned it, his wife had a, uh, uh, like a beauty shop down the street. Now, all the roads where I lived were dirt roads, okay? There was no pavement, nothing. And I had a little CRX, and I'd go fly, no no AC in Kansas. It'd get like to 112, and I'd go flying down the road. The inside is all dusty and awful in my truck, or in my uh, CRX. And uh, I would I would pull in, and bu- it, it, my shack was in the front. The newspaper, when they came to my house to do a story on how I was fucking stirring up the churches, they said, and this is a quote from the newspaper, that I lived in a home, uh, a, a lower-income home behind a row of mailboxes, okay? <laughs> and then... Behind me, there was three little shacks on this guy's property. Behind me was a shack that had like, it was like 20 Mexican people living in that thing. And then next to me was another shack. And they were all identical. And they were all on this guy's property. The the Mexican people behind me, one day I go to turn on the TV and I had no cable. I'm like, what the fuck? So I called a cable company and they come over and they go to check it. And the guy comes in and he goes, yeah, the... Uh, the, the Mexican family behind you was unplugging your cable and plugging it into theirs. <laughs> so they would just walk up to my shack, 
just take my cable off and plug it into their shit. <laughs> Were you embarrassed? <laughs> White trash were is the worst. Were, were, were you embarrassed that, uh, that that the paper printed that you lived in a shack? <laughs> no, they didn't say I lived in a shack. Listen, the girl that came to do the story, her name was Kathy. This is how much of a creep I am. I remember I was laying in bed, and all of a sudden I hear knocking at the door. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go, and I peek open the curtain. I go, yeah? She goes, I'm with the uh, Wichita Eagle. I'm here to do a story on you. I said, Come back in 10 minutes. And I just went and I took a shower and stuff and I cleaned up the fucking shack. And she came in. To, you to let do, her in? Uh, yeah, I let her in. I, she came in to do the story. And she said my place was obsessively clean, but it was located in a uh, low income home behind a row of mailboxes. Well, no. And, and the low income home, see. The thing it highlights the row of mailboxes as if as if that's the best part of the scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is. There's a whole row of mailboxes in front of where I used to live. No, the the row of mailboxes is is the, the reason they printed that is that it's to indicate that it's a real address and not like some homemade shack. <laughs> no, it was because the row. I mean, it was one property. And my place was like the main place. So when I got mail, it was like, I don't know, three something Flora Lane or whatever it is. And then when I, I would get mail, it would come to there. But behind me was like three, whatever, Flora Lane, B, and then C was next door. Now, B had the Mexican family that would steal my cable. I never saw them leave the house or anything. One time... During the afternoon, a woman came over. It was like 3 in the afternoon. Remember, I worked at night. And she came over. I was scratching on my turntables, and she asked me to turn it down because her family was asleep. And I was like, oh, okay. And I turned it down. And then later on, I was all pissed. I'm like, what the fuck? It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it, you know, and I'm thinking, they just sit at home and sleep and steal my cable. Then next door. No, that you know, yeah? That that's the funny thing is that they were probably clocking you and go, all right, he's gone. Let's go get the cable. And then oh. they hear your fucking CRX screaming up the street. And they're like, all right, go plug it back in. But one day they fell asleep and forgot to plug you back in. You're right. I didn't even think of that. You're right. And that's what happened. <laughs> and the, the, the people, the people in property C or whatever it was, uh, one day I left my CRX out front. And the windows are down because it's hot as fuck. And in the back seat, I left my uh, duffel bag. The CDs. Bag. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the CDs. Yeah, yep. and they stole all <laughs> my shit. You. Yep, they stole all my shit. But the guy that owned it, I told him, I said, I think they stole my stuff because nobody else would. And uh, he believed it, and he kicked them out. He was really cool about that shit. So uh, I always paid on time and all that because that was me. But anyhow, that was my place. Oh, well, no, and see, hey, the thing hey, Blake, is, Blake, shot, yeah, I, I yeah. see she's in the chat right now. Do you want me to have her on? Oh, boy. Yeah, let's go. All right, Shonda, call in right now. Uh, actually, Blake, I'll have to call you from the inside line, okay? All right, call me back. All right, bye. Yes, all right, Shonda's in the chat right now. Yes, I'm talking about Flora. Call in 513. Oh, she says she can't right now. Why? So what? Go outside. She says her kids are home. I'm not going to. You don't have to curse or anything. Just call in. Mm. Yeah, everybody's telling her to call in now. Blake wants to interview you. If there's something you don't want to talk about, I will answer this. I will answer the questions. It's an open book. <laughs> I'm going to call Blake back on the uh, the other line here. Uh, so, yes, please call uh, Shonda, 513-813-7979. Blake? Oh, not yet. <sighs> Everybody's yelling at her to call. Oh, let's see if I get the second line working here so we can have Blake on to do the interview as well. Uh, do I have her number? Maybe I do. She can go outside and call. Everybody, don't don't buy into it. 
I gotta make sure I can get Blake on too. Blake will ask all the questions. I mean, I live with this girl, so I mean, I have nothing to really say. That's loud as fuck. That that's Blake. Shonda. But she's not on yet. I'm waiting for her to call. Oh. She keeps saying that her kids are home and stuff, and she can't really get into it. Uh, oh God! You know, I think she'll call though. She's good for that kind of you, shit. You were really in love with her though. Yeah. I moved her to Wichita with me. Yep, I remember hearing that. that you, you, you thought she was it. Mm -hmm. So what's your version of what happened? Well, I mean, she became homesick and wanted to go home. So, I mean, that was it. And I was in the middle of, uh, you know, trying to get a fucking career going. I just got out of Kansas. <laughs> mm. You know? Yep, I know. And uh, I mean, yeah, homesick to go back to Kansas, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it got to the point to where her uh, her whole family jumped in a car and drove all the way to Sacramento to get her. Oh my God! Yeah, to take her away from me. How long is that drive? Uh, I don't know. Some guy in here is saying she has great tits. She does, but I don't know how the hell he knows. Don't she really? Yes. Well, because, like, when she was wearing, in that video, she was wearing, like, really baggy clothing. I don't know, remember what she was wearing, but, you know, we had two dogs together and all that shit. It was a whole thing. Uh, Who kept the dogs? She did. Now, nice tits, like, nice nipples or nice tits? Everything. Oh, man. Like, teardrop <laughs> shaped? No, just perky and perfect. They were like fa they were like fake tits, but real. Right. Oh, I love that. Oh God, that's the best. So, um, did she shave at the time, or was that not like a thing yet? Oh no, that was a thing. Yeah, it was there. Okay. Any or Audi? Her belly button? No, her clit. Oh, oh, uh, it was any. It was regular. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, no, it was good. <laughs> you know what? You want to find out about her? Ask her about the first time I had sex with her was at my, you know, the shack with the, uh, you know, the horrible uh, uh, you know, walls and stuff, whatever they call that, the paneling. And uh, I used to wear socks all the time because I had that horrible fungus on my toes. Jesus, Cobra. The, the one time I fucked her in the bathroom, the first night, she said, and I didn't know this until later on, she said she was having sex with me. She looked down because she was bent over and she saw my toes. Oh, God. I know. I'm like, why didn't you fucking run out of the house? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the best? Oh, she said, give me 15 minutes. Man, that's a long time. We got to go in 15 minutes. I'm off the air at 8. Why were you having sex with her in the bathroom? In, in the bathroom at my house. I don't remember. Why? Well, she was there. The first night we ever hooked up, yeah. uh, you know, we were just talking and stuff. I invited her up to the studio because, you know, you, you got to let her come to see the King's Domain. Can't and uh, she was there the night. She was sitting in the studio the night my program director came in at midnight and said, I got to fire you. She was there. She witnessed it. Witness what? Me getting fired. I got fired at Oh, my God. Yeah. Here I am trying to hook up with a chick. And, and, you know, I'm on the biggest <laughs> station in Kansas, and the boss <laughs> walks in. He's got socks on and flip-flops, and he goes, and he's all. he just woke up. He goes, the new general manager has called me and said, I got to fire you. I'm like, what the fuck? And the GM at the time, he was he's a real douche. His name is Rick. He was brand new. The new company hired him, put him in place, and he was all fucked up. And he was leaving the strip club, and he thought he heard the F word on the radio. You know better than me than anybody. That doesn't happen. And no. he goes, I got to fire you. Rick called me and said, I got to fire you. He heard you say fuck on the air. I go, what? And my cassette, you know, I air checked the whole show. We pulled it right out. I said, let's go listen to it and see if you hear fuck. And we listened to it in the production room. And uh, he calls him up and goes, I'm listening to the show. 
there's nothing on here at all. And then Rick just goes, I know what I heard. Fire him. And I was fired. Wow. Yeah, she was there for that. Is that the guy? Is that the guy that was the swingers? Is that is that that whole thing? Uh, he he wasn't a swinger, but he was uh, fucking the receptionist, and then uh, he ended up getting in trouble or some shit. Here's the thing: there is no Jesus yeah. because this guy was the scum of the earth. He ended up getting fired, and then from what I understand, his family, like somebody in his family, died and left him a ton of money because they had oil money. Uh, I know. Isn't that sickening? It, is is her is her um is it pink or brown where the poo poo comes out? Pink. I don't remember, but she liked it there. Right. But, but did she have any ass spiders? Any hair back there? No. Oh man, that's the best when a girl doesn't miss that with a razor. Good girl. <laughs> Girls miss that, man. You 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 crack that thing open sometimes. It looks like a, a black guy's armpit. <laughs> you want to you want to hear something funny? Is before I started dating her, I was in the studio and she was in there, and Gavin, who was Larry from high school, the best, yeah. <laughs> he was in there hanging out because after I got off the air, we were gonna go drinking. She was just in the studio, and I go, "Hey, Gavin wants to see your pussy." And she, oh. and she showed it to him. And that was no. before, yeah, that was before we were dating. Why would she do that? <laughs> I'm calling her right now. We, oh, she picked up and hung up. <sighs> wait, so wait, when she showed Gavin, did she spread it open? No, she just like pu- pulled it aside and showed her. Showed him. Oh. Was she sitting down or standing up? She was sitting down. Hold on. She's calling right now. Hello. Hi. Hi. You know you're very popular. Hi, Shonda. Hold on, Blake. Let me Hi. Let me get all right. it all out here first. You're okay. very popular. <laughs> Everybody wants to hear oh. from you. Oh, geez. Do you mind if I sit back and let Blake interview you? Say what? Do you mind if I just sit back and let Blake interview you? Okay, I may not answer everything, but go ahead. Blake, it's all yours. Shonda. <laughs> Shonda. Yes. Did you know did you know that, that kid Chris was in love with you? Well, he should have told me sooner. I wouldn't have left Sacramento. <laughs> no, he he told me later that he was really hurt by that. And uh because he really thought you were the one. Because he said you got great cans. Is that true? Oh, I guess, yeah. Do you have kids now? Do I have kids now? Yeah. No, no. I'm out of the house. No, no. no. <laughs> Do you have kids? Do you have kids? Do I have yeah, kids? She says yes, with her have kids. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's married with kids, right? You're married with kids. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Blake. So, Shonda, do the, do, after you had kids, do the nipples change? Uh, like, do they point more towards the ground, or are they still perky? Blake, is this about? No, they're, they're nice. Blake, is this about you jerking off to her? Or are you going to interview her? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to establish a baseline. <laughs> We have five minutes. So, all right, all right, Sean, I'll get to the good stuff. So, uh, <laughs> what, how did you feel about living in a shack with Cobra, <laughs> with Kid Chris? It, <laughs> it, it, was, it was a shack. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was fine, though. We had we, beans. Yeah. We had a twin bed. We had a twin bed for a long time. Yes. And then we, we got, finally got it with strawberry shortcake sheets. That's right, my strawberry shortcake sheets. And then, <laughs> and Blake, I... <laughs> <laughs> I got I got the uh, the bed and the dresser that were in the little shack room uh, from uh, the like Goodwill or something, and at home all I had was strawberry shortcake sheets, so I brought those home. Uh, I had two pair two two sheets. I had strawberry shortcake sheets, and I think it was mash. And I I, I think the only time I ever washed the strawberry shortcake sheets 
was when uh, Shonda came into my life. So I would just rotate back and forth. Um, <laughs> then in our living room into the kitchen, there was like just some little hallway. So we were uh, we were so creative that we put beads. You know those like those beads <laughs> that hang down. So when you walk into the yeah. kitchen, you had to walk through the beads. Oh. We made that well, awesome I mean, home. Yeah, it was a good it was a good home. <laughs> Shonda, was that Shonda, was that the first time you lived away from your parents? Yes, it was actually. Did, did your parents like Kid Chris? <laughs> yeah, they did. He didn't come around a lot, um, but my mom liked to listen to him on the radio. Mm-hmm. Um, what about, uh, how was it watching, watching Kid Chris get fired? Oh, it didn't bother me. I was just, it, he didn't care. It was, it, I, I was, I was probably worried that he didn't care. So, and he jumped right back in it. So it's good. The, it, the, the, you know, that's the, funny. The, re, the reality is Blake is when I got fired from T95 in Wichita, I went on unemployment for a minute. And the unemployment was exactly the same. So nothing changed in my life. <laughs> so, but that's funny, Shonda, because when he got fired from Philadelphia, he didn't care either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can relate to that. Yeah. Surprise me. <laughs> now, Blake, you gonna ask, are you going to ask her about anal sex? Oh, well, God. no, because I, I am, but... I, Sean, did you know that uh, Cobra still fantasizes about you? What? Yeah. That's really? <laughs> I don't Wait, Sean, think... is Kid Chris good in bed? Yes, he was. Really? Yeah, yeah. I had fun. He, he says that he's, uh, he's an inadequate lover because he doesn't have the right equipment. Got it doesn't that? matter. That doesn't matter. It's... If he knows no, how to but you're not denying it. <laughs> now hold on a minute. First of all, Blake, I never said that. Yeah. <laughs> Second. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't answer that question. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> um, Sorry. But you you did have fun with him. He was able to uh, uh, achieve that that you climaxed with him. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. We really? had when we lived in Sacramento. When we lived in Sacramento, we had notes left on our door because they are the walls were so thin, and people could hear. <laughs> Hang on, keep talking. I'm stroking it. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, God. Me too. Wait. So uh, the other thing is, did you ever engage in anal sex before Kid Chris? No. Really? He was the first. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Mm. Yep. What kind of lube were you guys using? Um, I think it was called wet. <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff. Yeah, yeah that's that is right. the good stuff. Blake used to text me pictures of wet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually using a brand called Fuck Water right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fuck water. It's either that or bacon grease, whatever I got laying around the house. You know what oh I mean? Oh, my God. <laughs> Amen. Um, no, hey, I'm really uh, I'm really proud that you were able to give up the keister to Cobra. That's a, that's a power move in life. You know what I mean? True. True that. Oh Are, do you God. still engage in it, Shonda? Nope. No, I don't, actually. Really? Yeah. Now, Not were you I able to achieve... Crazy. Are you able to achieve a climax uh, from anal anal uh, sex? I did one time. Oh, good for you. What now? Was, were you playing with yourself while well, that happened? Was, yeah, who was that with? Yeah. Me? Yeah, that was with you. You're the only person I've done that with. Oh, okay, all right. Now, when when you climax, do you squirt? No. No. Really? <laughs> Next question. Uh, we'll do another time. <laughs> I know, I know. Believe me, he'll go long for this. It's worth it. <laughs> do you? Um, so, have you ever been with a black guy? 
I'm not going to answer that right now. <laughs> That's a yes. Yeah. <laughs> Keep in mind, Blake, she's in Listen. Kansas. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she's got, she's got relatives. I get it. <laughs> Knock it off. No, uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, no judgment. No judgment. <laughs> so, Shonda, uh, what about the Mexicans that used to steal your guys' cable? Did you have any interest in them? That was before her. No. I don't remember oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I heard that story. I don't remember that. Yep, that was before her. I was still solo, Chris. Did you like Kid Chris's CRX? His what? C- oh, his C- CRX? Oh, yeah. I used yeah. to drive that thing around. Yep. She had. Oh, you could drive sick. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. had a. Oh, wow. uh, she had a Miata. Here's how much of a Ooh. dick I am. She had a Miata. No, I had a Del Sol. Or oh, Del Sol. Same, Del Sol. same, same, same shit. That thing was awesome. Yeah. We drove that to Kansas City to see uh, Limp Biscuit. That gives you a timeline. Yeah. When shit... yeah. So. And we'd storm chase in it. Yeah, that's right. We would storm. I played the video on this show. <laughs> Anyhow, so uh, there was a time where. I was at the radio station. This is at the rap station. And there was no nobody. There was only five guys. And we sit in an office and we would drink beer and eat chicken uh, during the day. And then I would do my night show. Because, you know, all the guys in the office would voice track. A radio, uh, they would voice track a shift. So one day I'm in the office. And we're, drink, we're drinking Red Dogs. And uh, Dan answers the phone. He was a general manager. And he goes, hey, Shonda's on the phone. She's upset. So I pick up. And this is how much of a cock I am. I was at the station. I'm buzzing a little bit from drinking and eating chicken and uh, and ribs. And uh, I answer. And she had gotten a wreck with the Del Sol. Do you remember that, Shonda? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. She goes, she's crying. She goes, I just got in an accident and all this stuff. I'm like, well, I'm getting ready to go on the air. Call your dad or something. And I did, and he helped me. I know. I didn't do anything to help her oh, out. Oh, Chris. I know. And she stayed with and me. She gave, she, God, she gave, up, she gave up the booty hole and everything. You couldn't go help her? I know. I know. I was a dick. Shonda, were you pissed about, about that? I would. I didn't figure he would. He, Chris is a worker. He, that's all he does, which. Your, fa- your phone, today. your 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 phone's all messed up. But go ahead, tell him how, how much of a genius I am. Go ahead. <laughs> he, he works a lot. He works yeah. a lot, and I right. really expect him to. Yep. But now, I Shonda, can I ask you one more? Can I ask you one more question? This is an important question for the audience. Um, okay. Kid Chris mentioned that like you were like early in the uh, innovation of shaving down there. Um, Mm-hmm. And he said that you didn't have you didn't have any ass spiders whatsoever. So did you shave back there, or did you just naturally have no hair back there? I just naturally have no hair back there. No, she oh, that's oh, Blake. God, she that's she beautiful. didn't have hair back there, but I remember it being bald, and she had like a little like a little freckle on the side. Ooh, it's still there. Oh, wait, of, of the <laughs> of the vagina or of yeah. the butthole? No, of the vagina. It's right on the side. Oh. God, I would just love to give that thing a little rabbit kisses. Well, I mean, you fly. They're, they're, they have a brand new airport there. Fly in. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just wing on into Wichita for that, for that little freckle. <laughs> uh, all right, Shonda, I think that's all we got. You've been, you've been amazing. <laughs> well, maybe I'll have to call back in. Yep. I t- oh, you, I, you should. Yeah, I did told you. Know, you but, did you tell me about the part where, uh, and this is just funny. I well, your phone, your funny. phone. First of all, your phone's fucked up. This is why I broke up with you. You don't know how to oh, do a phone. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> no, what were you going to say? No, when you were at the station working at um, the rab station, and you called me to bring you a pair of shorts. Because you had to go to the bathroom and nobody was there to relieve you to let you go. <laughs> you shit your pants and it rolled out your oh. Hey, listen. <laughs> my 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 current wife will tell you stories about me shitting myself. That still happens. Oh, he <laughs> talked his cotton. That was on That's top of it. Yeah, it ha- it's still it, well, it hasn't happened in years, but it's happened. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Good time. Yeah. <laughs> Blake, I love that. Hey, what what 
What did, what did you think of his toenails when you when you saw his toenails were all fungus? I took him to the doctor. Did you? It was that bad. I set him up to go to get some stuff done. It was pretty bad, but it, I mean, it was real. I wasn't bad. fucking his feet. <laughs> it was real bad, and Ooh. I didn't have ins- I didn't have insurance, so I couldn't until I got to Kansas or until I got to Sacramento or no until I got to San Antonio. I didn't have full time insurance, so I couldn't get. I couldn't afford the medication. But did you hear what she said? She said, I wasn't fucking his feet. What a trooper. I know. It's true. (laughs) Hey, you know what? You know, Blake, and you know I'm not a badass dude. I'm never out there trying to start trouble or anything. But there was a time where some dude that that knew Shonda was, like, bothering her and stuff. And remember, Shonda, I threw you in the car and I said, I'm going there to beat the shit out of this guy. Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yep. And what did you do? Nothing. He apologized to me, and I went home. <laughs> yes, that's what happened. Yeah, that's Shonda. And you're telling me you're telling me you didn't know he was in love with you? Come on. You know, he could have had anybody. The way I looked at it, so I True. just thought I was just another one of those girls. But you yeah. weren't, though. You're Shonda. <laughs> That makes me sad. <laughs> but I had always heard about Brenda. You know? Oh, Brenda. Yeah, everybody knows about Brenda. <laughs> that was who I knew oh, who yeah. was in love with. Yep. Hey, there was a time yeah. where Shonda was, and like, I would come home from work and she'd be on the phone with girls that I had had fucked in Wichita. Wow. Yeah. She would call them and they would, like, I don't know, trade notes or whatever about having sex. Shonda, are you into girls? No. We, we, no. That's a lie. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just friends with. I was just friends with one of them. Yeah, Krista. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, Krista. You know what? If I wanted to, I probably could have had Shonda and one of her sisters. Oh, shut up! I no, could've. you could not have. Yes, I could have. No, you couldn't have. Either one of them. Yeah. I'm hanging out now. I love it. Shonda, um, as always, you know, it was a pleasure, and I love you. I love Thank you. Thank you. Well, well, we'll talk again. Mm, look at I'm that, sure we will. And keep, yeah, keep keep those titties bouncing, girl. I yeah. love it. And Blake, Blake, <laughs> Blake, the new the new airport in Wichita. I went there. You know, Shonda. You know, Gavin died. Yes. I went to Wichita for uh, Gavin, Larry from high school's funeral, and the new the new airport looks beautiful. <laughs> so it so Blake, nice. Blake, use some use some airline points and get to Wichita. Oh shut up! Mm. Whatever, I'm going. <laughs> no, Blake's got a big one. I've seen it. <laughs> good for Blake. <laughs> uh, you guys have you. a good night. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Cobra. There it goes. Hey, Blake, good job. Thank you, Cobra. I love you. Take care. Okay. I hope everybody had a good time. We went a little long today, uh, but that's all right. It was worth it, okay? I will see everybody next time, next Thursday, 7 p.m.